Mickelson ready. You know, as I was saying, once he worked out strategy that you just got to back off at times. Three birdies already today at the opener. Phil was on the first green um, Tuesday evening, just him doing all his putting work as I drove by and uh, stopped for a quick chat. This is Phil on the back of the first green. I said Phil was out there doing distance work. He puts, uh, puts his markers down, does 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 footers to get his pace for the week. Right, cut it back, the shot. <laughs> Boom, with some authority. There you go. Won the Open back in 2013. He won the Scottish Open the week before. Second for Mickelson at four. Five hundred and fifty yard par five. Uh, that'll be awkward. You have to chip it onto that little side slope. Just bobble it over that ridge. Go out in 36, come back in 35 for the par 71 here at Troon. I wasn't thinking 7 on Roger. I mean, look at at least 195. Yeah, he's trying to move it from right to left. He is, and this is well left of the hole. You run, a, you run a link. See ya. Yeah. That's a big, big, well, got it pin high, but. Uh... No damage, no trouble. Would be his third birdie in six holes, and he gets it. Birdies at two and four. So he birdies both par fives on the outward nine, which is what you have to do. Out to the seventh and Gary Cove. Thank you very much. Dog leg right par four, depending on what club you take. It depends on what line you take. A good target is here if you go with the iron like Mickelson is, or if you hit a driver, you've got to go farther to the right than that. Maybe my favorite hole on the golf course, oh, Gary. Felt, just beautiful, yeah. green setting, gorgeous in the mounds and well, the dunes. You, yeah, you play from an elevated tee, Rod, so you can kind of see everything unless you take it down the right side over the bunkers. But uh, as you mentioned, the green setting, just beautiful, tucked in amongst the dunes. The location, John, kind of in the back right portion of the green. The good shots we've seen here have landed short and kind of skipped back toward the hole. Good news for Phil is putter looks sharp, Gary. Yes, it does. I would agree. No, no, that ball's going to move to the right. That was always right of the hole. Yeah, that's a swing. Yeah. It's on a great line. Might be a little deep. Oh, pretty good. Just a tap and brings it back. Pretty good. Always has good grooves on his club. He's a, he loves to spin it. He he goes for the thrill. Nice smooth swing. Uh, he might have pulled it. Just a little pull. You know you're good when you pull it 14 feet and you're hardly looking at it. Beautiful day. Feels like a day at Pebble Beach, Johnny. It's got <laughs> no. that, that kind of kind of cool at, breezes. Another you know, slow mo look at Phil. Right in the slot. A lot of delay of the wrist action and got great set of hands doesn't he mm -hmm. if there's any weakness in his game as he turns that toe over so fast looking good looking good just always it was just outside the hole and would come back for the what an outward nine for Mickelson though four under now he's got to face even tougher holes it's totally blind appropriately and, uh, called sand hills and he hit it exactly he hit what grassy I mean a sandy patch there you want to hit it over that third toughest hole today Phil Mickelson at this 442 yard par four coming up from 168 
Just can't go right of the hole. There's a big steep bank there, and I think he likes it. And he respects that big fall off on the right. So pretty darn good there. Let's take a look at the strike and see how it comes down. It's coming down really sharply, as you can see, and then gets the ball first. You see it spinning off the face, and then all that ground coming up. Little hit. Yeah, he's hit every green in regulation, Johnny. Ten for ten for Mickelson today. Yeah, he looks good. He's very comfortable. He doesn't seem like he's nervous at all. Coming across from Mickelson, and he is at five under, and he meets Reed at the top. Yeah. That's a quick pickup of the tee. He can't see where it is anyway, but he must have hit his line. That is perfect. Position off the tee. Let's see if you can hit this raised green out, oh. Peter, with the false edges everywhere. Yeah, and that is not bad. Not bad. Mickelson now for the outright lead. A little slow from here. Yeah, just off the false front. Gave it a good whack. Boy, he's, he's dialed in with his speed, though. Especially from long range. Bunch of guys look like they've got their A game going, Peter. I mean, really, big time. You know, on the way to the green, Phil said to me, he says, wow, what a great day this is. He says, I kind of wanted the wind and the rain. I said, hang on, pal. I think it's coming tomorrow. But that's what he says he's looking forward to. This one, a low bullet, cutting a little bit up the left. Well, you can complain too much when you're tied for the lead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't a complaint. <laughs> On a Chamber of okay, Commerce day, fair. right? Cool little tee shot there from Mickelson. A little reminiscent of one of Tiger's old stingers. Second shot on the way from 166. And turning it into the middle of the green, but that's going to stay on the lower level. So a pretty steeply uphill putt left from there. This putt pretty steeply uphill, especially right at the start here, for climbing the face of that ridge. And John, as you mentioned earlier, his distance control on the greens has been good. And over at 13, we've got the dogleg right elevated T, 476 yards, and there is the target. Going with the driver. Yeah, just striping it down his uh, eye right. line. Kick right. It did kick right. I mean, this is as good as I've seen Phil hit it and putt it and around maybe be in the top five of his career. I mean, it looks wow. just so effortless. While we were away, the long one for Mickelson from the edge. Going very well, five under par. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the weather as we always do. It really, the wind has really has laid down. This to stay at five under. You know about his win in 2013 at Muirfield, but he was oh so close to that playoff here at True in the last time it was here in 2004. Front and left, Terry, and uh, while there's very little wind, what there is of it is coming from his left. Uh, 167, he's got a seven iron out, and that tells me I think he's going to be trying to cut this ball against the breeze a little bit. Otherwise, it would seem like a lot of club. That's the shot he's trying to play, but it's hanging right at the hole. Nice hop. Good free stroke for Wow, Mr. Nicholson, how about this? So possession of the lead, the man who won it at Muirfield. Another quick pickup of the tee, and wow, that is dead center. And he starts out left of the hole, trying to work it back. But, uh, not coming quite as much as he'd like. Nicholson from the front of the green, about 60 feet, Roger. Yeah, about 60 feet, not a whole lot of break in, slightly uphill. It's all about getting the speed right. When she's done, I, was I think out. it's a very good approach. Roger, I was out with Mickelson on Tuesday, and he was putting from so 
many different corners of the green working on speed only. It's a teaser though, isn't it, Gary? The closer you get up to it, the better chance you have of knocking it on it too. That's very true. Very true. Interestingly, it's the shortest of the three par fives, but uh, actually earlier today it was playing over par. 291 to the hole. Breeze hurting ever so slightly off. Look out. It's fine, Bob. It, it, it says it's okay, but it's uh, about 30 yards or so short of the hole, and it appears to be very close to that uh, vetted face. So I don't know, Phil. It may not be all right. We'll see. Whoa. What a good. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> Nick, I can't help but think it helps when you have that wedge with all that loft on it that Phil carries. Yeah, 64, 64 degrees. degrees uh, you know, as much as four degrees more than uh, most guys play with their highest loft. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Roger, this is some golf being played by this man. Staring it down. And what an opportunity to make that. Get it to eight under, and yes, the 62 yeah, would be possible. Yeah, three, three at the last. Well, if I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm sitting here. If somebody's going to do it, I want to see it. Still has a shot in history. He gave that so much attention. He stood over for a few extra seconds. Incredible. A putt that was so Phil Mickelson. Yeah. Drama to the end, just <laughs> dancing on the edge to make you wonder. Miss it. Yeah, this is going Miss up the left. Well, Skip the bunker. Oh, missed it, just left. This one for 62. historical right there and uh and to miss it that way i mean at least i could have just hit a uh you know a big off flail and, and not even have a chance but that ball was right in the center it, uh, it's heartbreaking and, oh, oh, and 62 denied again 62 goalie again 